Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of BS Sports. I'm Megan Morales. And I'm Christian Walker and we've got a bunch of good stuff coming up on tonight's show. We'll talk about Fresno State Athletics, including an in-depth look at Bulldog football. We'll also inform you about this week's fantasy picks. And we've got two special guests on tonight's show to give a mid-season report on Pat Hill's football team. Jumping right into Fresno State Athletics, the Fresno State women's volleyball team recently defeated Cal State Bakersfield 3-2 on Wednesday night and improved its record to 8-11 overall and 2-5 in conference play. Up next, they'll head up north to take on the San Jose State Spartans. Hello, welcome back to another edition of BS Sports Fantasy Fast Break. I'm Christian Walker and alongside me is Jose Alvarez. Today we're going to be looking at quarterbacks throughout the NFL and assessing so far their fantasy performances. So, all right, let's move on to the first one. We got six foot four Kyle Lorton, quarterback for the Denver Broncos. Man, he's having a great year. He's been chucking the ball down the field. Through week six, he had 2008 total passing yards, which was second only to Phillip Rivers. He has nine touchdowns to three interceptions so far, and with the emergence of receivers like Brandon Lloyd and the productivity of Jabbar Gaffney, he's really had a good season, and I think he's going to continue to do so. In his upcoming schedule, he plays San Francisco, Kansas City, St. Louis, and Arizona. Easy. Definitely going to be giving Kyle Lorton a treat today. All right. Nice. He deserves it. Welcome back to BS Sports. Here to join me today are co-sports editors for the Collegian, Ben Ingersoll and Voni Yang. Guys, you're here to give us a, uh, a mid-season report on Bulldog football. Let's get right into it with the offense. Ryan Colburn started the season off strong, has been fading a little bit, but at the same time, the run game has definitely picked up. What do you guys think? Uh, I think that's probably because the running backs, they're getting back healthy to 100%. Robbie Rouse, he said he's finally back to 100%, and he ran for 150 yards in the, in the last game and scored twice. But then again, if you look at it, you look at the teams we've been playing when the running game's been going, it's Cal Poly, New Mexico State, and Utah State. That's three teams are at the bottom of the half in rankings of run defense. You take that into consideration, and then you look at the our injuries at running back. Each running back's lost time, or they've been nicked up for part of the season. So I think it just be us. They've been getting back into the system, being able to take reps at practice. So that's probably why the running game is starting to emerge. You know, Pat Hill stressed that his team doesn't have a lot of injuries. There's a lot of injuries to one position. That position is wide receiver. Uh, Jamel Hamler, both Jamel Hamler and Rashad Evans have missed time. Devin Wiley's out for the season. That hurts the receiving core a lot. But uh, both Hamler and Evans are back. They're, they're supposed to be full speed. They practice all week. Uh, even Matt Lindsay's back. That offers some depth. He had a concussion last week. So I, I'd expect uh, Ryan Colbert to be able to Extend, extend down the field a little bit more. Even uh, Jalen Saunders, the true freshman, he's helped in the return game. He's given it uh, a little bit of comfort for Ryan Colburn down the field with Wiley out. 